an Italian sister who founded the Apostles of the Sacred Heart of Jesus in Italy and sent missionaries to the U.S. at the turn of the century is one step closer to sainthood. Mother Clelia Merloni will be beatified in Rome Saturday at the Basilica of St. John Lateran. She wanted her spiritual daughters to be like the first apostles by attaining a perfect love for God by making the heart of Jesus known and loved. Joining us now from Rome is Sister Elizabeth Doyle, a member of Mother Clelia's religious congregation based in Hamden, Connecticut. Sister Elizabeth, what is Mother Clelia's legacy? And what was it about her life that was so saintly? Clelia's legacy lives on through her spiritual daughters, the Apostles of the Sacred Heart of Jesus, of which there are about a thousand throughout the world in 15 different countries, including the United States, and also through lay members of the church and ordained members of the church that resonate with her charism, which was to share the love of the heart of Christ with all those in need, especially the most marginalized. Well, as we know, a blessed needs a miracle to be beatified. What was the miracle that moved Mother Clelia's cause forward? A doctor in Brazil in 1951 was diagnosed with Guillain-Barre syndrome, and he had experienced progressive paralysis, which reached all the way up to his throat and his basic muscle functions. And his family and the doctors were sure that it would be his last night, and they called on one of the apostles of the Sacred Heart of Jesus, who was friends with the family, to come and pray. And she brought a relic of Mother Clelia, a thread from her habit, and placed it in a teaspoon of water and was able to have him drink that water. And after he drank it, they gave him a glass of water, and he drank that, and he drank a glass of milk, ate some pudding, and he slowly regained, in the course of a few hours, all of his abilities. And when the doctors came back in the morning, they were absolutely stupefied that he had not passed away, but had recovered entirely. And he went on to live another 25 years and die of other causes. So that uh, miracle was approved in January, and that moved her cause forward for beatification. Sister, you devoted your life to following Mother's vision. What does this moment mean to you? This is such a big moment for myself personally and to experience it here in Rome with our congregation. Mother Clelia was a woman of extraordinary faith. She experienced a lot of darkness in her life, a number of trials and disasters, and she never doubted that God had a specific plan for her. And she had great faith that he wanted her to found this particular congregation dedicated to his sacred heart. And I look to her as an example of faith for my own life and my own moments of darkness. And I believe that she has a powerful story for myself and for many people. So we're excited that we can share her story more broadly with the entire church now that she's being beatified. Thank you so much for all of your insights. Sister Elizabeth Doyle, member of Apostles of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Thank you so much. You can watch the beatification of Mother Clelia Merloni right here on EWTN. It will air Saturday at 6 a.m. Eastern with a replay at noon.